There. Just look at us. Worse than a bunch of scarecrows in December. With our pockets empty, our guts begging for mercy, and not even a match to light a fire with, thanks to your bright ideas. Just look at him. The great Butch Cassidy with his gang of horseless riders. And our shoes so full of holes, there ain't enough leather left to cover our brass button. If you keep talking, Iron Age, your shoes won't be the only things full of holes. <laughs> Next time I'll kick your ass so hard you'll choke on it. are tired, boss. I know that, Sam. I figured we could cross the border within a couple of hours. But sundown will reach Al Pass when you set up camp there for the night. We can't be too careful, you know. Now, there's enough chow for all of us. We won't be making any campfires. But I'm worried about the horses, too. You can say that again. Uh, the law may still be in our trail. Okay, let's move. Hey, Butch, get down. Where do you think you're going? They got food and I'm damn hungry, Butch. You want your belly full of bullets? That's the Carson gang. If I had any ammunition, it'd all be over. Yeah, that boy's is hungry. Give him some hay. If I'm hungry, it's because of you. And they know it. Are oh, you still part of my gang? Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go eat. My way. Oh, we'll make camp down there. You're right, these horses just can't go any further. The border's just on the other side of that canyon. We'll cross it after we've rested. Come on, this way. How are you gonna take them, Butch? Six men down there, all right? Right, I can count. Counting ain't gonna kill them. I always keep a reserve under my hat. We have five bullets and six men. And with these five bullets, we gotta hit those six targets down there. Each one's gotta get his man, or he won't have time to regret it. Ironhead, here's your chance if you want to eat. Sundance, you better get two for one. Yep. Okay. Cross your fingers. Okay. Nobody shoot till I give the word. Got it? Yeah, it's about the right time for me to retire from this game. I'm too old. Smart idea, Carson. You could buy yourself a little farm somewhere. Yeah. Maybe I'll wait until we pulled off another two or three good jobs. Get myself a missus. Settle down. If you were a judge,
jackal iron head, you could begin eating, huh? Too bad you're just a plain coyote. What'd you call me? Coyote. I thought so. Search everyone. We'll take all they got. Guns, ammunition, and horses. But make it fast. I don't like hanging around graveyards. Okay, come on, get moving. We'll look after the bodies. You men go and get those horses now. Go on, get moving. Go on, go on. Hey, don't you think you ought to keep your voice down? Why? You might wake up the dead. You're crazy. Maybe I am, but you're still a coyote. just didn't have room for you, son. He let you off this time. I reckon the guy who shot you must be unlucky. Now, if that old bullet had been deeper, you'd be dead. But have some of this and you'll feel better. Whiskey is the best medicine I know. Thanks. I feel better already. That's the way to talk, son. There ain't nothing worse than going hungry, I say. Damn right. My stomach been empty so long it don't hardly recognize food anymore. Sundance, give me them sacks. We'll split up the loot. I'm finished eating. If you don't want to share, you can go outside. Just a minute. When I'm eating. I concentrate on eating. <laughs> he forgets who's the boss. I'm the boss. Doesn't look like everyone thinks so. So what do you say we play for the loot? What? What do you mean? Poker. Give me the card, Sundance. I ain't that innocent. Now hold on. Your cards? <laughs> oh, no. Mine. Right? All right. <clears throat> Now then, what's the pot? Winner takes all. All we got? All we got. Hmm. And these? Them. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Ideal.
Hold it, Ironhead. You know I ain't really cut out to be a gambler. This game's making me kind of nervous. Sundance, let me have a cigar, will you? You know, you can still back out of this if you want to. You were the one who wanted to gamble. I'm waiting. Okay, last card decides. <laughs> Two pairs, beat that! <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I win. Let's go. I was sure of winning. I don't understand. Something's funny. I just felt I was winning. I know it. I was winning. I know it. What do you want to do it for? Hey, Donovan. Huh? You got fooled. This here's the real ace. What? Ah, so he fooled me using five aces. That bastard! I'll kill that low-down stinking rat! Hey, son. Why are you chopping all that firewood? Well... Winter's coming on. And you're gonna need it. To keep out of the cold. To keep warm. Well, I suppose that's the least I could do in return for all you've done for me. Only now that I'm better, I gotta go. I'm grateful to you for not asking any questions. Smart man is never too curious. Questions are a nuisance. Even when there's nothing to hide. I will never forget what you've done. You promised you'd make me a present of this. But I'm making pork and beans, son. And you're tired. After all that uh, wood you chopped, you, you gotta have a decent meal before you go. I can't let you run off half starved. You're cooking as a temptation. But I gotta be moving. Got an urgent matter to deal with. Adios.
Lebowski. Step right this way, ladies and gentlemen. We got it right here, and we're going to show it to you absolutely free. The most amazing and amusing educational and enlightening show and display of fantastic, fabulous prizes, presents, free gifts, and awards ever assembled before in one place. Examine the quality and the workmanship, and remember, they can be yours for the modest feat of the contest. Yes, sir. I'll try it. Splendid. One dollar. When does the game begin? Not till the parson's done sermonizing. Who knows how long that'll take. Uh, keep me a place, huh? Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the modest sum of one dollar, you may participate in this fabulous contest and become the proud possessor of a Colt pistol with holster and gun belt, a brand new saddle, or a five-gallon keg of whiskey. Step right this way. Only one dollar to join in and no charge to walk. You can examine these prizes absolutely free. There is no obligation to play. Sam. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Sam. The game is due to begin as soon as church is out. Ladies, bring your husbands, mothers, send your sons. Prizes for everyone in the great horseshoe contest. And Jesus answering said, A certain man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and left him for dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at that place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds. Pouring in oil and wine. <coughs> and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And then on the morrow he departed. He took out two pence and gave them to the host. Oh, our brother Thomas Hunter is right, it's getting late. Peace be with you, brethren. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you want? That collection there, that's meant for the poor? You call yourself poor, do you? Well, here's a dollar. Make it last. Thanks. God bless you. Suppose I were to offer you a job. Expect you'd say yes. Tell me all about it. As a watchdog, my parish is full of marauders. Buck Farrell is worse than all of them. Thanks, Reverend. I'll put it to good use. Oh, 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 oh,
tell you. You can see that. Hey, look what's going on. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a couple of nothing on the father. Oh, you'll take the river, huh? I'll take it. I'll stick you for it. Come on, Reverend. Quiet. All right. Hey! Hey! Reverend Cotton wins the set. One, two, three. Great. I need that. My old saddle's fit to make stew with. <laughs> and now the grand prize. Remember this magnificent coat. I'll stick you. Will you stick me two and I'll stick Come on, let's go. The prize is a gun. And I have to win it. That way we'll have a few less murders, I hope. And this town can do with less murders. Hold it. I want to play. That was the dollar you gave me. Well, if I'd known this, I would never have given it to you. But I need a gun, Reverend. I believe you get to go first. seems, my young friend, that providence is not always on the side of the angels. However, I suppose I can't really complain. No, I'm not complaining, my friend. It's all yours, cowboy. sale, mister. <laughs> Poker players are crazy. You never know when you've had enough. <laughs> hey, give me a beer. There you are. Oh! <laughs> 
Stop it, you two! Stop, I tell you! All men are brothers. You have to love each other. That's what the good book says. Love! Understand? Love! Some people never learn. I said love! And Sunday is the day of the Lord. So you must love each other to please him. Say, you got a formidable left, fella. Brother, you too. Hey, listen. How about a beer? Suits me, sure. Since on me. Thanks. Ah, now then, tell me your name. My name is my own business. If you want to be friends with me, don't get curious. No offense, huh? It's just that I hate questions. I like a man who ain't always running off at the mouth. I might have work for you. What kind of work? Money-making kind. How about it? Explain. I'll be back in two hours. Wait here if it interests you. Sunday is the day of the Lord. <laughs> I'm so fed up with these yokels. I've been hoping I was going to meet a real He-Man. Yeah, I could use a new boyfriend. Strikes me you'd be suitable. Tell me your name. Me? Macho. And from what you tell me, Buck is a thief you can trust. Sure, Macho, you can count on him. And I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. Buck's just a baby. All that matters to him is who's stronger. If he offers you work, you should accept it. Please. Why not? I got a yen. I'm feeling tired. Later, maybe. But I only got a half hour. I'm sorry, Buck. But you have to pick the right moment, you know. After all, you're enough of a ladies' man to know that we women got to feel in the mood, huh, Buck? <laughs> maybe so. But if I go off with another gal, I don't think you'd like it. No, it wouldn't suit me. Yeah, I guess you'd scratch your eyes out. Mine, too. I know you're jealous, Tree. No, I ain't jealous, Buck. But if you insist, you're over 21. You'd best believe it. You'll see the gals downstairs are itching for me to shake loose from you. Bitch! You can see from this. It'll be child's play. And you'll come out of it with a horse and saddle, ammunition, and even some cash. Hmm. No, Buck. I don't work for a horse and saddle. Ammunition, small change. We have to split the hall evenly. I'll only buy that. And that's generous of me, too. Generous, huh? Because I usually take the whole thing. Hard bargainer. I like that. I admire you for it. 50-50. Come on.
Okay. That's the office. Just keep your eyes open. That was an old pal. He's gonna keep a lookout for interruptions. Everything will go just fine. That's lawyer Stark on the left. The other fellow's his clerk. work to get through today, Willie. Widow Mansfield will be here at nine in the dot. You'd better get the mortgage papers ready for her. Ah, yes. Of course, sir. Let's go. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could do me a bill of sale for one horse shea. With pleasure. Be right with you. Thanks. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm uh, buying a farm, and I'd like to arrange for a deed to be drawn up. We have a sample copy. Just follow me. Make them pay for this. Yeah, yeah. You'll be sorry, you bastard. Tell me why they tried to kill me. Make it fast. Because if you have an explanation, I'm gonna blow your head off. I don't believe in anyone. I play on my own. But with you... I admit I was mistaken. <laughs> Still pals? Buck 
Doc isn't back in three more days. One of you can go for him. And bring him back here. Hitch to the tail of a crazy horse. Now, which one of you? You, Colbert. But suppose I can't even find him. That's your worry. And Buck ain't disobeyed your orders. He does everything you say. Why do you want to get rid of him? Mm -hmm. So that we can have his share. And Buck's a smart boy. A tough hombre to kill. Hmm. It's easy. Just be sure you got it planned. He won't even be suspicious of you. You can wait till he gets tired of looking at your ugly face and turns his back. Then let him have it. That's how you shoot a man you're afraid of. Hmm. It's empty. Hey there. Bring us another jug of liquor. Hey, Buck. There's a fellow outside with a pistol. And he's aiming for you. Look at me. Keep sipping your drink, and when I move, drop down behind the table. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? What do you mean? But that's Colbert. Huh? You knew him then? Dog is fully recovered, Mrs. Jones. Yes, it'll be all right. Bye bye, bye, -bye Mrs. Bye. Jones. Well, now, we got to get up bright and early tomorrow morning because we've got a lot of things to do, huh? Well, now. Hand me the formaldehyde, huh? What'd you say? The formaldehyde. Now, let me see. Well, now then. At seven, we have to see Mrs. Benson's cow. At eight, old George's stallion, uh, the formaldehyde. And at nine, Mrs. Parsons' dog has to have a. Uh... I asked for the formaldehyde right there, huh? As I said before, at nine, the dog has to have... But why are you uh, taking all this animal doctor stuff so seriously? You gotta start believing it yourself, Butch. Here in Bird City, and remember this now, that I'm Dr. Dickinson, the most respected vet west of the Mississippi River. It's easy. No, I'll no. show you. I wasn't cut out to spend my life being a sort of stepfather for piggies or a nursemaid <laughs> for hens. Hey, look, with four or five medicines, in that case, you can make all the money you want. You don't have to know anything. Can't you it's understand that Ironhead is getting stronger all Let the time, demonstrate. and all you can think about is constipated cows? I've had all I can take of it. I'm through. I followed you because you could pull an ace out of the hat even if someone was right there sitting on it. That was just kid stuff. Not with my hat, though. Ain't nothing under it. Just yourself. You said well, it, well. and I'm worth a royal flush. Hmm. Hey, you heard the name Ironhead's using? 
Don't tell me you didn't know he's using the name Donovan again after all them bank robberies. Yeah, and while he's robbing banks and getting rich, you're curing sick puppy dogs. It's not the life for me. I'm leaving. <laughs> Butch Cassidy. Your clowning days are over. I didn't realize I looked like a clown. You're Butch Cassidy. And there's a nice reward for you, dead or alive. <laughs> Come on, now, you really must be joking. If I were Butch Cassidy, well, well, you'd be full of bullet holes. Yeah, well, it's your choice, you know. Come along quietly with me or, or pay up. Mm -hmm. Real old-fashioned trick. You got one minute to make your mind up. But I'm just a harmless veterinary. Why, you can ask any old maid in town if you want to. Mm -mm. I know that trick. You can't fool me that easy. I don't think you understand. Your life was hanging by a thread, and if you don't make me a mm -hmm. decent offer, that thread is gonna break! What'd I tell you? Who knows how many bounty killers are out to get the reward for you. And sooner or later, one of them's gonna catch you without your gun. We'll see. Maybe you're right. Even if I have to admit it. There. That ought to do it. Hey, what's in this bottle? Bottle? That is the formaldehyde. Hmm? Ah, oh, Bush. Every job I do is worth over $50,000. Yes, sir. What do you want? Find Lucas. Tell him I want to see him. Yes, sir, immediately. The thing that gets me is, what made Colbert attempt to get rid of you? Your theory that Ironhead might send one of his men to murder you leave me kind of wary. I think there's something fishy going on, if you ask me. Take it from me, Buck. <laughs> that iron head's worse than a slimy worm. Yeah, one of them fishing worms. Can't tell which is head and which is tail. <laughs> that way, Lucas. You can wash the trail dust off for good and all, and become somebody. The way I did, the whole trick is to surprise him. But careful, because that cold butt is a tough nut. I sent him to kill Buck O'Sullivan, and now you have to go and kill him. Without any hitches. Then you and I'll split everything. We still have a few more jobs to do. You'll never guess who's next on the list. Our old friend, Butch Cassidy. I've never forgiven that bastard for that little game of poker. You're gonna be a millionaire, Lucas. And you can open your own saloon with all the prettiest gals in the West, just like you always wanted. Only I deserve the right to choose. The prettiest girl of all. Careful, Lucas. No mistakes. Get going, but remember. Always shoot in the back. Otherwise, Corbett will get you first. All right, boss. 
That's where Ironhead's been living since he changed his name officially. You can see he's got watchdogs everywhere. Let's get closer. We can't take them on all at once. We better try the other side of the house. One case of snuff and 30 bales of cotton. 24 large kegs of whiskey. Come in. You got that down? 24 large kegs of whiskey with an H. Well, look who's here. Where the devil you been hiding yourself all of this time? I thought you must have heard. I ran into some kind of trouble. Is uh, Iron Head upstairs? I suppose I'll have to get the butler to announce me. <laughs> I don't know if he can see you. He's real busy going over his accounts. I'll bet he is. Hmm? It's you. <coughs> oh, howdy, Buck. Howdy. here. Talk to you? Yeah, well, uh, Colbert reckoned on staying permanently. I see. I was gonna send Lucas to look for you. I'm back anyhow, and I brought you somebody we might use. He knows what the score is, but he can be trigger happy. How's that? He, uh, he don't like people to double cross him. They give him hay fever. When he sneezes, they're liable to wind up dead. What's your name? My name's Macho. Macho who? Macho nobody. See what I mean? Mm. He'll do. How did everything go? <laughs> Can't even call it a job. It was easier than buying a lollipop. In fact, a lot easier, because when you buy a lollipop, you got to pay for it. They even left a safe open. Ain't that pretty. Say, look, what's all this? Ma, 
my best greetings and signed Butch Cassidy. Look at that. He rides real good. And evidently he runs rings around you. That bastard. He's going to pay for this once and for all. What's keeping you from shooting him? Nothing. Well, now that we're rich, I think we need a change of air, huh? You know that me and the boys always go along with you, Butch. But this time, it'd be too dangerous to move away. Ironhead is a specialist in ambushing. And boy, after that trick you played at White Rock with the loot from the lawyer's <laughs> office, <laughs> he'll be splitting his pants just for a chance to get at you. You're right. But I know Ironhead. He's the kind of a guy that likes to attack from behind, especially when he thinks someone is stronger than he is. And if you know this, you got him. Well, now, believe me. Listen, fellas, you stick with me a little longer, we're all going to end up as rich men. What do you say? Sure. Okay by me. And that goes for my brother, too. Hmm. I expect you to hit the bullseye, understand? I never missed yet. Don't know. I'll drill you full of holes like this gun barrel. For me, anybody could kill him. Buck will stay with you. I don't want any interference if he's as dangerous as you say. Who are you giving orders to, huh? Who do you think you are, anyway? I give the orders around here, macho. And you do as I tell you. He's a clever man who knows how to get other fellows to obey him. All he has to do is sit at his desk and make plans. And leave it to them to do the work and take all the real risks. Huh, easy. Oh, well, if it's that important to you. Anyway, you planned it real well. <laughs> Tomorrow night, I want to meet you and Ironhead's three mavericks at the river. Why? What for? What are you going to do? This is a job I prefer to do alone. Here. Coffee. Besides, too many of us together is bound to look pretty suspicious. And I don't trust those guys. If you ask me, Ironhead is trying to pull one over on us. As soon as his men have gone to sleep, I'm off to Mitchin. And you keep your eyes open. I'll be all right. I hope so. you're thinking that it's a shame that's the way you would think but I don't trust the two of them see they're up to something well, what about the three McMurray brothers well, he'll keep an eye on them that's another reason why I ain't happy Lucas I don't want to have to pay anyone back let me explain it to you you're gonna make sure that no one don't come back. Hmm? Mm-hmm. It all went according to plan, but we got to split up. Now, follow me. You three take that road. You stick with me. Let's go.
Here's the gold. How gold? Six of your men aren't going to be around anymore. They found out the truth. The end of the trail is Boot Hill for us. But it means you'll be able to give us lots more money, too. Buck? You go wait for us. I'm going to teach this fellow his boss once and for all. Bonehead, nobody bets on a pair of sevens. You should have passed. <laughs> okay, boys, we got to get moving. Ironhead's done another big job. He just robbed the bank at Mitchum. What? That's right. And with the usual technique. Once the job was over, his men escaped with the loot, and he fixed things so the six of them died. Lucas, the McMurrays, and a couple of others. <laughs> They're all feeding the buzzards by now. That means we got to get out of here. Because the next thing he'll be doing is looking around for us. But we're going to be all set. Come on, let's go. Yeah. All right. All right. And it's in for a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me a lesson. No, no, no. You're okay. You do. You're pretty tough, too. No need to be angry. I was only testing you. Donovan always thinks we use that road. But we'll go around the other way and surprise him, huh? <laughs> That'll fix him. Let's go, uh, that's right. Uh, 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 uh. I'll show you. Butchner's gang are gonna have to reach this point right here. In this area, there are only two roads you can take to go south to Mexico. In other words, we can just ignore all this. Butch Cassidy is nobody's fool. He's bound to take this road or this other trail. Hmm. You're right, Macho. We're leaving at daybreak tomorrow morning with 12 men. And the three of us are worth 10. Hmm. They won't have time to wet their pants. <laughs>
Hey, what is this place, anyhow? It's a ghost town, ain't it, Butch? Yeah. And here's where Donovan's gonna join the ghosts. It'll be fun. Let's go. Well, what a dump. Iron Head wouldn't dream of setting foot in this kind of place, not even by mistake. Oh, no, kid, you're the one who's making a mistake. He'll come here, because he thinks he's going to ambush us on the way through. But he won't realize we're here already. Now, what about all them girls you promised us? I always keep my promises, Ben. You really want one right now? Uh, sure mm -hmm. I do. Well, you want a blonde? <laughs> you bet. Right away? Or can you wait till tomorrow morning? Oh, right? you know, Butch, right away is always better. All right, you can begin with what? this. With this? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> A real doll. <laughs> uh, now look. This is my plan. Here's Main Street, see? Hold it, gentlemen. Why, the south is that way. We're going this way. But didn't you tell me that? Our pal changed his mind. I've been thinking, kid. Well, double the guard at night. Feel that safe? Yeah. Because if Ironhead ever succeeds in getting through here, he'd be almost impossible to hold off. We need to have advance warning. Be sure the men are keeping their eyes and ears open. I'll do it right away. Hmm. You two can guard the street. You the bell tower. You take the upstairs window. You two take the south road. You're the water tower. Ben, come on. Finally got you in jail. And me with you. That's loyalty, ain't it? I hate this waiting. He might make a fool of you. Maybe Ironhead won't turn up anyhow. It's possible. I don't know. Your plan strikes me as plumb loco if I think on it. Got a light? Hey, Buck, how much do you trust that macho? I'd trust him with my whole life. I only trust you, Buck. You understand, don't you? Think it over. 
You and I could divide everything between us. It's a lot of money. Get the horses out of sight. My plan is going to work perfectly. We'll attack tomorrow at dawn. I see some moving this way, Ben. How far away would you say? About a hundred yards. Some men sneaking in back of the corral. They're coming and carrying bushes. What'll we do? This is it. I think you better try to keep the battle out in the open. You better warn the men. Ah, and tell them I want Ironhead left to me. I'll change his name to Leadhead. Okay. I told you. Yeah, that's true. Now I can admit that I wasn't really certain. <laughs> hmm? After you. all a trap. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you get him? I thought you were supposed to. Go on, you missed him. about wiped out. I've only got one man besides Buck, so he can't hurt us now, right? Yeah. Stay here for another day or so to rest up. Then we'll make it for Mexico. The way I see it, once we're over that border, we'll be rich, respectable foreigners. Right now, let's drink up to the last drop. Come on, everybody. Have a drink. Come on. That's yeah. Come on. Man, come on. Have some more. There you go. That's it. Everything went according to plan. What plan, stupid? Mine, of course. Now we don't have to share the loot. It wasn't up to you. Calm down, Ironhead, and listen. The first part of my plan was to eliminate all your men and leave us three. I'm surprised you haven't realized that from the start. Yeah. Now we come to the best part of the whole thing. Did you sleep? No. See them? He didn't bother to even bury his dead. Huh. Squeamish, eh? We ought to bury them. Huh? If you say so, Butch. Well, now what happens? We prepare a surprise package. If this is another one of your tricks, you'll find yourself hanging from a tree with more holes in your head than a wasp's nest. Remember that, Macho. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. Everybody up. Wakey, wakey. Come on, everybody up. Everybody Get the lid out. out. That's it. Hey, get moving there. Let's go, boys. The simulators are waiting, huh? Already. Uh, Come on, everyone over here. Help. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I want to show you the trail to the border. This'll do. This here's the best place. I think the time is just right, too. Give me the cloak. Now, this is the trail that leads to a little pueblo just a few miles north of the border. There, we have to wait for a guy to take us across. We may have to wait for a few days, but that's no worry. Once we're across the frontier, our troubles are over. Hold the horses still. We're almost ready. Okay, listen to me. Ironhead's getting much too dangerous for us. Ben, Jimmy, Mike, you find him and kill him. Okay? Sure. Okay. Kid and I will lead the way on the trail. Oh, and you cover us. In a few minutes, Butch Cassidy will be in the front row of the performance. And the ticket will be expensive. In fact, there's a very good chance it could cost him his life. Make sure that these cases are tied on good and tight. And check everything before we start. You can count on us, Butch. The place for our money is with the first riders. Agreed? Okay? Okay, start loading. <laughs> Get the horses moving.
Wait for me inside. You get the men together and check the okay. supplies. Get going. Hey, what are we going to do the load? Hey, Butch, here come two riders. Don't shoot. They're just dummies. Go see what they are. I'll call the others. Look out. That's dynamite. Get those saddlebags off the horses. Run for cover, everybody. Look out. Run for it. smarter than you figured. Now he's as dumb as he ever was. This must be the work of that new man. Who lost all our money? Don't worry. I've still got my private chair tucked away. Come on. He died because of my joke. I'm sorry. Let's go. Cassidy left us everything this time. No more aces up his sleeve, huh? Oh, he didn't know how to play him. <laughs> Nobody knows how to play except me. Drop your gun, macho. It's time you started praying. Throw it over there. You're in the way, you sidewinder. I'm sorry, but the game's over for you. You're a rotten swine! He's the one who'll be rotten and full of worms! Let me kill him! No, I will! Look out! 
you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Buck. I'm afraid we're late, Lieutenant, but I see the job's finished, Macho Callahan. Yeah, Mr. Pinkerton. I guess Reverend Cotton has already told you everything. But I still have to go on looking for Butch. The game isn't over. Thank you.